Welcome everybody, Nanky here, and it's time for an Soldin' Sh- Welcome everybody, Soldin' of the Grin Brothers here, and welcome to another Soldin' Start, the continuation of the Soldin' Start of Monster Hunter Rise, to be more specific. And you know what, let's enjoy some dangos, that lance just disappeared. Ah, uh, I guess I'll pay with money, I've got plenty of it. Let's go with that then. See, these cats can be cute, so long as they're, you know, not doing pun after pun. <laughs> Ooh. Close one there, and a nice bit of green tea with it as well. Health, stamina, dango medicine. Oh, neat. Okay. And now let's for the first time enter the Frost Islands. Those are Popo. Those are Popos. Or they called the Nanas. They're adorable, what they are. I wanted to use one in Monster Hunter Stories too, but ah, uh, you know, they all my other monsters already filled the criteria that it could do. And off we go. New area, Frost Islands. Okay. Oh, wow, you're a tough one. Great. Knocked me off the ledge, how dare you? Oh, I guess these aren't a big one, are they? Nope. Oh my gosh, they can go through walls. Um, okay. That's a thing they can do, apparently. Gotcha. Wouldn't feel a mammoth would do that, but there you go. Oh, this is going to take forever with the, uh... Oh, come on. Lock on already. Th there we go. Yeah, Benabra. I thought they weren't even special pop here. I thought this was a cold area. Oh yeah, okay, that is one thing I did forget. I forgot to bring the brick wire bugs with me. Unless it automatically when I... Oh no, it does that, okay. I could have used that ages ago. Okay. That was a bit further than I was expecting. You know attack? No? Oh, maybe I can throw a kunai it. Off you, I was worried that thing is poisoning me. There we go. Okay. Catch a small monster too, strangely enough. Yeah. Ravi said that this was the uh, easy one of the easier weapons to use, in his opinion. But I thought there was like a charge attack for these things, and I'm not getting much of a charge here. You know, well, you just kind of just run through the stage with the lance out. But no, it's the moment you get the lance out, you just lose all speed. Are you a Lagombi? You do not look like a Gombe. Uh -oh. oh, what you are is... Oh! Uh, yeah, this guy ain't worth it, and he's not what I'm after anyway. Oh, there we go. There's the charge. When did I get that activated? How did I get that activated? Ooh. Oh, it ground pound me, basically. Okay, I suddenly didn't miss this part about using the bow and arrow. Ugh. Yeah, 
There we go. Whoa. Nope. That's why I went to the tool. How about... Okay, so that does that. Okay, that kind of works. Okay. Uh, okay, to be fair, I was going to that. You gonna you gonna do anything? Come on, come on! Oh, come on! Why driving? Whoa! Because uh, I need to have to take out the Lugumbi, so hey, I'll be using you, fella. Guess I distracted it. Unfortunately, this would probably work better if I was a, like a bow user instead, not a person who still has to get in the rain. Yes. Your wire bug is too. Come to ah. I have no idea who to go for at the moment. Oh, and he's down. Yeah, come on, come on, come on. Yeah. Oh, I forgot that thing I was going to fix up. So basically, I've got a team with me. That wasn't what I was going to talk about here, but I've got a team with me to, go, whoa, to try. Ugh. My weapon's going to need sharpening soon. Okay, good, good. Whilst he's uh, distracted by that, I'll go uh, fix up my weapon. Poison should hopefully help a bit. But the green team wasn't actually what I was going to talk about whilst I'm doing this fight, so I think, ah, yeah. It's fleeing really fast. Where'd it go? How'd it get all the way that quick? Oh, I know. There's a little gap there. Okay. Yeah. That, ah, did nothing really good. Hey, stop trying to live. Uh. Uh. And stop hitting me back. That'd be appreciated too. Yeah, so basically, I've considered many games for the Sword and Start series. One game that I was considering, almost entirely on an aesthetic purpose or thing, was um, Hogwarts Legacy. Um, because, you know, Naka being a witch tool, it would fit quite well. Now, I'm not a Harry Potter fan at all, but again, you know, like I said, you know, setting and all that, you know, makes sense or thing, and, you know, it's a character creator and all that. Now, 
I already decided, ah, I've got too many games in February, sort of in March, sort of coming out of I me. Mean, I've got Project Zero, Mask of the Lunar Equips in Mask, in March. Um, got uh, Kirby Returns to Dreamland Deluxe. And I've got Grim Guardians, Demon Purge. Uh. But, um, one thing that has had me curious about the game is that apparently there's rumours that it might have the Nemesis system from the Shadow of War, you know, Shadow of Mordor series. And yeah, the Nemesis system is such an awesome thing that it's kind of a shame that it hasn't been included in more games. Okay, oh, I'm sorry. You can't go anywhere. Wish I could run faster, but... There we go. Ah, okay, it's a counter. Okay, makes sense. Yeah. Oh, I was hoping I could actually get the hit off on that, but oh well. Yeah, there we go. Main quest complete. Yeah, like I was considering the sort of game sort of thing. Uh, if it does have the Nemesis system. Uh, and again, you know, primarily to do it as a sword and start sort of thing. Um... That, and I've seen some like the finisher moves, and, it's, and it looked pretty entertaining. Here it goes. But I think as it is, as it currently stands, this year is going to be packed with enough games that, you know, it's not going to be an issue trying to find games for me to play. How many of them will be suitable for Sword and Starts? Don't know, but... Lance is interesting. De definitely very different from the bow. There was a huge jump from going from one to the other sort of yeah, thing. Yeah, it's a frost island, so I'm glad I got to show that off. And there was also me showing off the lance weapon. Um, still don't know quite how to do that charge attack sort of thing. But whilst I try out this green tea, which is a post-refresh tea. I'm pretty sure I've had it on the channel before, but here it is once again. Uh, that is a brew time of two to three minutes and is the English tea shop brand. Whilst I do that, I'll show you some of the stuff I did uh, off screen. Anyway. A sweet organic tea thanks to Cinnamon and Garcinia. With a single percentage plop of acai berry. Got to be honest, doesn't smell too great. I couldn't uh, wait, uh, you know, couldn't wait all the time for it to go to 80 degrees for, you know, the preferred green tea temperature. So instead I poured a little bit of cold water as I poured the boiling water in. I hope that managed to create the best re results I could hope for sort of thing. I sort of just actually waiting, but yeah, not a very pleasant smelling tea, but hopefully it'll taste better than it smells. That cinnamon gives it a nice initial sweeter taste to it than you'd expect sort of thing. Not super sweet. Because there's a good sort of balance between it and the bitter sort of thing. But, uh, yeah. Not a fan of the aftertaste. It's a bit of a, let's say, a sh it's a sharp aftertaste. And the aftertaste only suits its more fouler smell to it sort of thing. But the initial starting taste you get. Of a slight bitterness and a slight sweetness. That kind of like mellows on the tip of the tongue and then rolls underneath it sort of thing. That's quite nice. Um, but the aftertaste? Nah, the aftertaste's a bit... Uh, maybe the aroma itself is influenced the aftertaste. I'll uh, perhaps give that a go with... Um, holding my nose quickly. No, the... No, I can't hold my nose the entire time. But the, yeah, the, uh, the flavour at the end does match the smell, the aroma. I'm not sure if that would be the Garcinia or the Acai Berry. I'm assuming it's the Garcinia, but... Um, yeah, the interesting one starts off like a pleasant combination of sweet and bitter, and then it's a sharp, strange taste. I'm not quite sure how to describe it. Well, if I have actually uh, had the tea before in the uh, the post uh, party refresh tea in another video, I'll be able to come just try to link to it and see what my thoughts. Maybe I describe the aftertaste better then. But mm, yeah, strange one. In any case, uh, that was the post by Free Fresh Tea, and this was yet another episode of uh, Monster Hunter Rise. This was also yet another episode where I forgot to do the like, comment, subscribe until the very end. So, uh, I mean, if it makes sense to have it at the end sort of thing, I mean, now you've watched the video, now you can tell whether you liked, uh, whether you liked the video, whether it's worth commenting on, and whether it's worth subscribing if, in, to see more of it. So yeah, hopefully so for all three of those. Cheerio, everyone!